What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys something really, really cool. So two years ago, I actually received two monitors from a BenQ to review. I don't know if you guys remember that video for the best editing monitors to use. So this year, they're back. They're kind enough to send me over two brand new ones. And I'm going to review in this video how to set them up, how to go through the changes and the settings and everything like that. And also how to use this one the optimal way for video editing and if you guys want to go ahead and check these monitors out after the video and if you say like you have to get this one because they're this incredible the links are down in the description so with that being said let's go ahead and get started on these monitors right after the intro all right guys so as you can see right now, these are the monitors that I've been using for about a week or two to actually get used to them first so I can give my honest review. So right here, I'm actually editing a video right now that is going to be released in a couple of days, which is the 2021 setup tour video that I'll be also showing you guys everything that I use as well as these, including these monitors. So make sure to stay tuned for that because we're gonna run over all the equipment as well as this really, really cool desk lamp also from BenQ that they also send me that were kind enough to do that. So that video is also on its way. Way. but right now it's gonna be mainly about the monitors. So these are actually 27 inch monitors and it is a really, really clean design that you have quite a lot of space underneath the monitor because I actually had to get used to this kind of space because my other monitors from BenQ that they send in 2019, they were actually a lot, a lot lower. Like I think the main monitor actually met right here. So as you clearly can notice, it's actually quite of a gap, but I think it's nice to have this more of a clean look. Then you can also see like all the cables that are running behind it that you can also make it really, really clean if you want to. I have to actually, you know, get a hold of doing that, of course, but it's a really cool system that you can actually tilt these monitors higher or lower depending on how you want to have these ones. It actually goes really, really smoothly. And of course you can also tilt them to, for example, the front or the back, depending of course how you want to have your angles. So these are completely tiltable. But what actually what I'm the most excited about besides all the software that also comes with it that we will get to in just a minute are these really, really small little controllers that you guys can use to adjust the brightness. If I twist in it right here, as you notice, you can see this brightness meter and that's a really, really nice feature that you can also choose certain modes. So if I would press one, for example, it turns a lot darker. It has a lot more contrast to it. And that's really, really nice if I want to, for example, edit at night when I have, for example, really, really tired eyes or something like that, or the screen is really white. If I would check my email, for example, and my email software wouldn't have like this dark mode, it's really cool that you can just press a button and then it goes into night mode. But of course, more of that when we get to the software. And you also have another one, for example, per monitor. So it's not that if you would twist, for example, this guy, it will change all the settings of both monitors. Because of course, right here, I don't know if it's, if it's visible, I think right here it is. You can also see that I have a second one later for my other monitor just so I can actually for example adjust only this one but also that one separately all right guys so now that you guys have seen the monitors also a little bit of close-ups time to go over the specifications first like how many Hertz it has the resolution what kind of ports do you have to use for example to connect it to your computer HDMI display port all these other ones that we're gonna get into right now all right guys so of course it's actually very very important that we would go over the specs because for the people that I want to a little bit more about of a detail about this monitor right here we have the BenQ PD2725U 4K IPS designer monitor page in front of us I will leave also in the description down below the 4K UHD resolution can be very attractive for users viewing or working with suitably high resolution content the BenQ PD2725U provides such pixel pushing pros with designers and other demanding strong color accuracy in mind as a member of the PD series the design is similar to its predecessor with brush metals used extensively for the stands to give a premium look and feel the monitor includes a four-sided borderless or dual stage design with a slim panel border that's flush with the rest of the screen plus a slim hard plastic outer component the OSD the on-screen display is controlled by buttons and a joystick at the rear of the monitor towards the right side as viewed of the front or using the hotkey pocket g2 wired remote control which of course means that you can 
also use the buttons at the very back right of the monitor as well as your wired controller. All right, so here is where it gets more interesting as the 27 inch IPS panel is used with 3840 by 2160 4K Ultra HD resolution, most likely an LG display panel such as the LM270WR8 SSC1. This includes a light matte anti-glare screen surface and includes 170 degree horizontal and vertical viewing angles plus 10 bit color support. The monitor has a specified 1200 by 1 contrast ratio and supports a 60 hertz refresh rate. The monitor is factory calibrated with an average delta E3 and a digital uniformity compensation with Pantone validation and Kalman verification. It includes presets for both DCI P3 and sRGB among others, with low blue light LBL settings included to promote greater viewing comfort. A flicker free WLED backlight is used with the specified 95% DCI P3 color gamut and it has 250 candelas by square meter typical maximum luminance. This monitor is Visa Display HDR 4 100 certified, a basic level which allows 10-bit color reproduction and a quite generous color gamut to be leveraged. Not necessitating particularly high brightness levels by HDR standards or requiring local dimming to be employed. A 5 millisecond gray to gray response time is specified, which as usual shouldn't pay too much attention to. The stance offers full ergonomic flexibility and can be detached using a quick release mechanism to reveal 100 by 100 millimeters visa holes, which basically means that you can also adjust this monitor to your wall if you don't want to use a stand, which is really, really nice. The port face downwards beneath a removable port cover and include three and a half meter headphone jack, two USB 3.1 ports plus upstream, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a display port 1.4, two Thunderbolt 3 ports and an AC power input, internal power converter, four-way BPP and PIP is supported and two times two and a half watt speakers are included. So right here of course you have two HDMI ports, we have two USB ports, we have a display port, we have two Thunderbolt ports so it's actually really really nice that you have so many connection options because let's say that your graphics card is quite limited when it comes to display ports or HDMI ports you can always use different kind of connections that is suitable for your graphics card. All right so now that we talked about the specs it is very very important that you also get this software which basically allows you to use this one on the optimal performance. You can adjust your brightness, your contrast, even the sharpness and you have all kinds of modes such as the sRGB, DCI P3, the MBOOC and we have of course like the dark room we have even a dual view which basically means that we can also turn this one on for example to have multiple kind of views right here as well and right here we also can actually choose it monitor per monitor so let's say that you have number two of your screen on your right side you can also switch back between these two monitors so let's say that you want to change up the screen that's in front of you you just want to switch to the very first one and then you can go ahead and over to all the settings and make sure that they're all equally the same if you want to use your first monitor for example for gaming you can adjust your settings right here as well. You can create really, really nice profiles and you can also change up your desktop settings if you want to have it like split screen. We have so, so many different options that we can completely customize. And right here we have system, which basically means that you can click on this factory settings if you want to reset everything that you've done. But it's really nice that you can have, for example, your low blue light. You can choose multimedia, internet. You can choose like multimedia, interneting, office, reading. But of course, if I click off one of these, my screen capture program is not going to capture it because of course it's on the monitor itself but it's a really really nice software guys it is actually pretty pretty complex if you want to go and learn every single detail about this but of course it's obvious that if you want to take your time on this you can really customize it to your wants and needs because these monitors are really really high end and also in the system down here you can read everything about your monitor the contrast is on 50 the brightness is all the way up and then of course we have our color depth which is on 8 and of course our resolution the, the hertz that we're running it so it's really really nice that you can customize all of these things and you can just create your own profiles and make sure that everything is perfectly set how you want it so this is basically the monitor program itself that you also have to download all right guys so these are basically the BenQ pd 2725 u monitors if you guys want to go ahead and check them out the link is down in the description they are the best monitors i've tried from BenQ so far because these of course without a doubt they will actually top the monitors from in 2000 2019 when it comes to build quality they are a little bit on the thicker side i have to be honest about that one but that's not really a problem since you're able to tilt and move all these monitors how you want it it is not too big for example to hold this little clamp 
for this desk lamp. It's really, really nice. But they actually also thought about this clean design, especially with this kind of foot that this one has. Guys, link is down in the description. Thank you so much, BenQ, for sending over these monitors. But also the video about this desk lamp is on its way as well. So we have more things from BenQ coming very, very soon. And these are basically the monitors that we'll be using. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. These are the BenQ PD2725 U monitors that you guys can get at in the link down in the description. Thanks a lot for the continued support, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to board it with a like down below. I wanna thank BenQ so much for sponsoring this video. Everything you need to know to learn more is in the description down below, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.